continuing our exploration of Final Cut Pro 10.3, we're going to look at how Final Cut Pro 10 handles motion projects. Motion projects, exactly. And by default, it handles them the way it always has. Motion projects are stored in the user movies folder, in the motion templates folder. Mm -hmm. But in 10.3, you now have the option to store all of your custom motion templates in the library itself. Right, so if you move the library, your motion templates go with you. Yeah, so how often does it happen that you finish a project or you share a project with somebody else and you go back to it later in time where the new editor looks at it and there's some offline title transition effect or generator because you didn't give it to them. Right. And they have to go download it or they have to purchase it or whatever. This takes care of all that. It bundles all of your customized effects right into the library. So nice. let's, let's look at how it works. So here we are in Final Cut Pro 10.3. I'm going to select this library. And in the library inspector under library properties, we have a new section for motion content that tells us that any motion content, which means effects, titles, transitions, and generators that were either modified or created can be stored in a location that you can choose here. And by default, they're stored in the motion templates folder where they've always been stored historically. However, if I click on modify settings, we have a brand new motion content pop-up menu where I can choose instead to store all of that custom material in the library. So I'm going to select that. Now, what that means is going forward, any new titles, transitions, effects, or generators that I add will be added to the library, but existing ones won't be. And we can see I've got a couple titles here. In fact, I've got one that is a built-in Final Cut title uh, that won't be added to the library because it's built into Final Cut. And then I have one of our Ripple Titlemations titles added as well. So to make sure that any existing material that are already in projects are included, I need to go back to this library inspector and consolidate. So for the motion content, I'll click the consolidate button and then click OK. And now that material has been moved into the library. Now I'll add an effect. I'll go to the effects browser and under the blur category, I've created my own blur filter by opening one of the built-in effects in motion and modifying it. So I'll drag that on a clip. And now I have a combination of basically a third party title, a built-in Final Cut title, and a modified effect. A little bit of everything. Now how can I find out for sure if those things are really in Final Cut Pro in the library? I could open the library package, but there's an easier way. Right within Final Cut, I'll go up to the Titles and Generators sidebar, I'll select Titles, and we have a new pop-up menu at the top of the browser that by default shows us all the titles that ship with Final Cut Pro that are installed. But if I click it, I get a list of every open library. I only have one open library, so I'll select it, and it shows us all the titles that are installed in this library. And it, in our case, it's the one title from the collection of Ripple Titlemations. By the same token, if I go down to the effects browser and I'll click on all video and audio, we have installed effects by default in the pop up menu, but I'll select this library and it shows us this blur filter that is my modified blur filter that I've added. It doesn't show us this initial title because it's built into Final Cut. Right. So it's very easy to change the storage location of your templates to the library and check to make sure that those templates are actually stored in the library. Right. After you consolidate after you consolidate. Right. So that's fantastic. And I'm wondering, you know, some of these, these templates can be large depending on where you download them from. They include video and all this stuff. Oh, so, yeah. so your library can balloon if you're not careful, even if you have your library set for an externally managed library. Yes. Even if you're trying to make a very small library, if you've installed a ton of them, it could get large. And in fact, by default, if you remove effects, they're not automatically removed from the library. In our end depth, we go more into workflows and ways to deal with those types of situations. Excellent. So you want to check out our in-depth tutorial on Final Cut Pro uh, 10.3. And uh, thanks, for, thanks for showing us this great new feature. I'm sure a lot of you out there are uh, really uh, doing backflips right now <laughs> that it's in there.